Welcome. This online session is one of a series of mindfulness explorations of artwork and objects held in the collection of Shrewsbury Museum and Art Gallery. As part of the slow art movement, we are going to invest some time in pausing in our busy lives to look, to breathe and to be curious. Today we are going to look at a late Victorian oil painting entitled Mallards and Pigeons, painted by the artist and illustrator Randolph Caldicott in 1879. Before we begin, make sure you are sitting comfortably with your feet placed on the ground. Take a deep breath in and breathe out slowly. As you become aware of your breathing, try to release any thoughts of the past. Let go of any thoughts about the future and try to stay in the present moment. Acknowledge any thoughts as they enter your mind, but bring your focus back to the painting. The artist Randolph Caldicott was born in Chester in 1846 the son of an accountant. His early working life started in banking in Whitchurch in Shropshire and then in Manchester. He had drawn and painted the world around him from an early age, but he wanted to learn more. So while still working at the bank, Caldicott enrolled on night courses in art at the Manchester School of Art. He submitted illustrations to various publications and started to build a reputation as an illustrator. He eventually gave up his banking post and moved to London to work as a full-time artist. Take a moment to look around the painting. Caldicott's graphic skill shines through. The male and female mallard to the left and the assortment of differently plumed pigeons demonstrates his observational skills and great attention to detail. Look at how the light falls to illuminate the birds. Much of the picture is in shadow, but you can still just make out a geranium in a terracotta pot, a pot turned over on its side, and carrots with their bright green frond-like foliage. What other vegetables might be in that basket? During his time in London, he became friends with artists such as Rossetti, Millet and Leighton. His work was exhibited at the Royal Academy and illustration work was plentiful. He became well known for a series of children's books he illustrated each Christmas, often selecting his own titles and rhymes. He is considered to be the forerunner of the modern children's picture book. The influence of his artist friends and John Ruskin's theories of returning to nature in art is very apparent. Here we have everyday life painted in maximum realism in keeping with the Pre-Raphaelite movement. It looks as if the door has been opened to a dark shed or barn to catch the moment of the birds feeding on the fallen pieces of vegetables. Can you recall the earthy smell of a shed or of vegetables in a shopping bag? The light from the right hand side illuminates the centre to show the two mallards. The male resplendent in his lustrous dark green and brown plumage. The pigeon caught in mid-flight as it lands to join the others on the earth floor. What sounds would you imagine hearing as you look inside this painting? The rustle of feathers or the cooing of the pigeons? Maybe the ducks announcing their arrival at the feast? Caldicott has captured a moment in time. Keep hold of that moment as you take time to breathe in and out slowly and enjoy the pause in your day. Thank you for taking time to look at this painting from the collection of Shrewsbury Museum and Art Gallery.